Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I wanted to come and run my mouth for a quick second and talk about some people and some things that's going on. All right, Ryan Coogler. Is that how you pronounce his last name? Ryan Coogler. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, listen, I'm going to put the links um, to the articles in the videos uh, in the description box, so you can click on those links and see the videos in its entirety. When I tell y'all, it's a complete and utter mess. All right, so I'm gonna read some of the article for the first, um, I'm gonna read some of the uh, the first, some of the things, I'm gonna read parts of the first article, okay, from TMZ. So basically, for those who don't know what's going on, Ryan Coogler went into a Bank of America the other day and tried to withdraw $12,000 um, from his account. He wrote on, on a piece of paper um, to the bank teller to be discreet um, with handing him his coin, right? And the bank teller, for whatever reason, felt like he was trying to rob the bank. She felt uncomfortable and she got in contact with her manager that was at the bank, at the branch, and um, told her to call the cops while he did whatever he was going to do in the back. Or she was going to do whatever she had to do in the back. Call the cops. The cops came. Um, and part of the video, you'll see where the cop actually, Ryan was at the counter. So his back was turned. And they came up and one of the cops grabbed a gun. Now, this is after, this is after the bank teller has told the 911 dispatcher that she didn't really see he had any weapons. This is after this, oh, I, was, I, was, I was about to start getting worked up. Um, this is after she said that she really didn't even verify his information. The lady literally just called the cops. Now, mind you, this man has has provided his ID that she did not verify, has provided his debit card, put his PIN number into the system, has wrote a note telling you just basically, girl, just count the money. Like, don't count. I'm not trying to make a big scene, you know? And you called the 911 dispatcher. The 911 dispatcher sounds like, girl, why are you calling me? Why are you, why are you bothering me? She even said, so none of his information was verified. So he might just want to be discreet, but I'll send someone out. I'll send so I'll send someone out there. Like, girl, you ain't verified none of his information and you nervous? Like my whole thing is this, like Have you not had someone come into the bank before and withdraw to some people, you know, a large amount of money? What was the purpose of, like, I'm just trying to figure out if you go through all the things you're supposed to do, <laughs> I just don't know, I don't know what was going through that woman's mind. I honestly don't. And I don't even understand, excuse me, I don't even understand why the manager didn't even come out to see, okay, well, what's going on? Like, you didn't act, like, when she went back there and said, girl, I think somebody's trying to rob us, you didn't say, what? Does he have a gun? Did he pull a knife out? Did he do this? No. Okay, well, what's going What did he say? He just sent this note. Did you show the manager, like, did you show the manager the note? The manager didn't think to come out and say, okay, well, let me just see what's going on. Because at this point, she's told you that she doesn't think he has a gun or a knife or some weapon. And your first reaction to that is to tell her to call the cops. Girl, call the cops. Girl, call the cops. <laughs> Y'all ain't verified nothing. You ain't even tried to go out there to see what was going on as a manager. Your first, your, your first thing is to call the cops. <laughs> Girl. If he's taking, if he's, you can look at somebody's account and look at, you can look at their account history. I don't think this is his first time <laughs> withdrawing $12,000.
or even if it was close to that amount. I'm sure like this is not his first time at the rodeo. Let's go ahead and read this first article, okay? Again, the, the links are in the description box if you want to see the videos. The videos are a complete mess. Um, it actually made me kind of... It, I, sometimes I am an emotional person. <laughs> sometimes a lot of the time. It did make me kind of sad. I don't know why I almost kind of got teary-eyed. I don't know why. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why. But it just made me sad because I think what it was was you have this person in the bank who's really not doing nothing wrong and you standing there and now all of a sudden you hear a gun getting pulled. And I... Girl, what? What is going on? <laughs> Y'all just trying to... I'm, not, I'm trying not to make a scene and now we're making a scene. So now the children know, okay? Now the people know that Ryan Coogler banks with Bank of America. And now they know that I go into Bank, Bank of America sometime and take out large amounts of cash. Now they know. The stuff that I didn't want them to know. Girl, at this point, girl, I'm sorry, girl. Black woman and all. Everybody involved should lose their job. From the manager to that bitch that was in the video talking about good job. Did y'all hear that black lady pass by who said good job? Good job. Good job. No, sweetie, you about to be unemployed. Yeah, you, the person who called, and the person who told her to call. And I want, I want the heads of these officers, but we know ain't gonna nothing, we know nothing ain't gonna happen to them though. Let me say, I, this is gonna sound real like there, there is no way that I could have that type of influence, probably that a little bit of power and not make sure that this situation is not taken care of. Baby, the way that my money would be snatched out of Bank of America with the quickness, y'all, the fucking heads will spin. Don't say nothing to me. I don't want no, we're sorry that it happened. I don't want no, send me an email. Don't send a manager. Don't call, don't, the president better not ring my phone. All I know is I will be there tomorrow at 8 a.m. Matter of fact, I'm going to be there at 7.59. I'm going to be there before y'all even open up the door. I'm going to be standing outside of a glass window sitting there with my own photo with my, with my security. Because now I got to have security. I'm going to come in. I want y'all to take me to the back. I want y'all to give me all my goddamn money. Every single penny down to the 13 cents. Give me all my goddamn money. Every, don't, don't, don't say good morning to me. Don't ask me how my night was. Don't say nothing. Just say, there go Mr. Ryan. Don't say nothing to him. Just bring him to the back. He want his money. Don't say nothing to me. And after I leave out of here, bitch, you getting fired. Bitch, you getting fired. And you getting fired. Yeah. And then I'm going to make sure everybody I know that Bank of, Bank of America, I'm going to try my hardest to get them to take all they got their money out of Bank of America. <laughs> That's the type of shit I would be on. But see, I'm ignorant. And I still got a lot of growing up to do. And I, I, have, to, I have to admit that. I have a lot of growing up to do. That couldn't have been me, Mr. Ryan. Because I'm about to get onto your ass in a little bit, too. Yeah, I'm about to get onto his ass, too, y'all. So anyways, he says... Girl, I don't have to read these articles, girl. The article's going to be in the description box. Y'all already know what's going on. One thing I do want to say that made me mad about him. First of all, I hate your handwriting. I hate your handwriting. That's the first thing. As he told TMZ, uh, the situation should have never happened. However, Bank of America worked with me and addressed it to my satisfaction, and we have moved on. We have moved on! See, that's why I said I think I have a lot of growing up to do. Because they wouldn't have been there. They, 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 what's my satisfaction is I need everybody involved fired. And I really want the cops fired too, but we know that's not going to happen. But girl, I don't know how things like this can happen and girl, y'all just move on like that. I honestly don't. But see, again, that's probably because the way that I, the way that my mind works, I, I can't let stuff go like that. And that's probably, that's another, but y'all y'all already know that I hold on to stuff. Well, some of y'all might not know that. That's one of my problems that I can hold on to a grudge. I might don't let stuff go easily sometimes. This is one of the situations I wouldn't let go easily. I wouldn't. There's no way in hell. There's no way in hell. It would not, I would not be sad. Like, even if everybody got fired, even if the cops got fired, bitch, I would still be pissed off a week later. Because I'm still trying to understand how did it even get to this point.
It's a mess. And then he's trying to tell the cops in one of the videos, you know, like, <laughs> basically, it's about to be some mess. Y'all don't even know who I am. <laughs> he's basically trying to tell them, y'all, it's about to, and of course, the cops probably don't believe him. Like, who is he? Y'all about to find out. Yeah, y'all about to be all over TMZ, all over the shade room, all over ABC News, all over every media outlet is about to be talking about this. Yup. Yup. Yeah, ma'am, you who called the cops? Like, my whole thing is like, I've never worked in a bank before, but I worked at Ace Cash Express. And while nobody could ever come in and withdraw, withdraw money, they of course come in and cash their checks. And I have had people tell me all the time, slide me notes underneath the glass, hey, don't count my money out loud, just count it on the table. Because sometimes, especially like during income tax season, girl, hello, people come in and cash in large amounts of, you know, checks or a check but you know the income tax but you will have people come in and say hey count my money on the socks okay don't don't count my money out i just count them on the counter and i'll count it while you're while you're you know putting it on the counter so i would just i wouldn't count money like people slide notes all the time girl if this man has sent you a note the note is not threatening right he's giving you his id he's Put his pen in. He's giving you his debit card. I don't know why you don't, like, once you have the information that you need to have, you verify that information, and then that's the end of the transaction. That's how it will work in my head. It's not up to me. Anything else outside of that, they don't have nothing to do with me. He gave me his ID. I saw his, can you pull your mask down? I don't know if they do that in banks. Girl, I haven't been inside a bank in forever. You know, like when you go to the airport, they actually remove your mask so they can see, you know, your picture, you know, the issue on the picture on your ID. So it's like, girl, let me see your face. I verified his ID. He put his pen and he gave me his debit card. He put his, put his, he put his account number on the, um, the thing or his social security number. <laughs> I, I still don't know my account number, girl, but you put his social security number, right? Girl, I verified everything. I did everything I taught me to do in training. I gave him the twelve thousand dollars. Girl, what else y'all want me to do? You ain't verified nothing, girl. You ain't even did your job, bitch. You a lazy bitch. <laughs> that's, like, that's what I, I'm sorry. You a lazy bitch. You ain't even did your job, girl. You should be fired just off the rip for not even doing your job. Girl, you ain't even verified. You ain't verified nothing, girl. Your first thing was to call the cops. We're going to tell your manager. And you get on the phone and you ain't even verified <laughs> the, the, This man ain't got no weapon on him. He ain't threatening you. He got his ID, debit card, the stuff that you need to withdraw money. And you nervous. Girl, you sound like the cops. I'm sorry. You sound like the cops when the cops shoot somebody and then they say they're, they were nervous. Well, sister, this should not be the field that you work in. If you that nervous for a motherfucker to come in and draw a couple of dollars, well, not a couple, right? If you get nervous over people drawing large sums of money, then bitches ain't the business for you. Like the cops, they get nervous when they see a gun. How the fuck you around guns? Girl, you walk into a building and everybody got a gun attached to their hip, but you see one gun and get nervous and shoot? Okay, girl. Okay, girl. <sighs> Ryan, you a better woman than I could ever be Cause bitch, I'll be off with their heads Sorry I'll be off with their heads Yeah Good job <laughs> No, it's called unemployment That's what you about to do That's what you about to be, bitch <laughs> Keep playing with me <laughs> Girl, they pulled that gun they pulled, Girl, that man pulled a gun out Girl, I would have freaked out. Can you imagine like just going into a bank, just like no, 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 I gotta go ahead and do this. I got over some errands today. So, no, 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 girl, can you make sure you have my money in the bank, girl? Because I want to buy it in my business, girl. No, 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 you sitting there, girl, and I probably got an AirPod in my hair, an AirPod in my ear, listening to something, girl. Girl! Girl, what the fuck is going on? 
Grab the like up and it. Anyways, all right. Ryan, <laughs> handle the situation how you want to handle the situation. Y'all hoes better not ever, y'all hoes, let me tell you something. Y'all hoes better, I hope I don't ever get no money and that shit happen to me. Because, bitch, it's not going to be the same with me. Girl, it's not going to be the same with me. I don't give a damn if it's a black woman behind the counter, a black man. I don't give a damn who it is. Anyways, who else? Oh, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon's talk show canceled after just six months on the air. This is according to page six. Cannon fired. Nick Cannon's talk show is being canceled after just six months on the air. Page six is told. Sources say that the staff at the nationally syndicated show have yet to be informed. Girl. <laughs> Girl! Can you imagine, girl, on the internet Googling, girl, finding out she ain't got no job no more? Girl, what? The staff, the show was canceled. What that mean? They ain't got no job. But we're told many of them are already looking for new jobs because the outlook seemed bleak for the struggling show. Um, the star snagged the gig in 2020 after impressing producers with his daytime talk talents when he filled in for the Wendy Williams during the long absence due to ill health. The former Mr. Mariah Carey, was that is so messy, was also a hot commodity when the show was announced because Fox, the masked singer, which he hosted, had become the number one new show, drawing more than 17 million viewers in its record-breaking 2018 debut, according to Deadline. <laughs> Cannon became a daytime candidate um, following his gig covering for... Oh, sorry. Uh, there was even talk of Cannon's show replacing Williams if her health meant it had to come off the air permanently. But the chatter went cold when audience members uh, showed Nick Cannon... showed Cannon's show picking up 400,000 viewers, making it the lowest rated talk show at the time. According to Celebrity 411, Williams' show averages... 600,000. And sources tell us that ratings for the show show no signs of growth. Canon, uh, so, uh, so hold up. Sources said the networks are also looking for a spot for Jennifer Hudson's new talk show. The Sun first reported, girl, we y'all already know what's going on, girl. Listen, <laughs> this is the thing, right? Nick Cannon gonna be all right. Y'all, they say he got a thousand jobs, so girl, he needs to spend more time with his children anyways. Um, I, I've i never I don't know how they factor in to who would be a great host for a talk show but just because Nick Cannon was the host of the mass singer that the max the masked singer which drew in 17 million do you really think the people were watching that show for Nick Cannon so you thought because he hosted the show and it drew in 17 million viewers in his debut in 2018. What the fuck that got to do with Nick Cannon? Like, I get these hosts can help the show. Like, Ryan Seacrest, I'm sure, his, like, back and forth with Simon, right? You know, people used to say they was, that was a love of quarrel. Anyways, girl, I'm sure, like, some hosts can help, but that doesn't mean that that person probably would be entertaining enough to have their own talk show. I feel like, and I hope this doesn't happen with Sherry, but I feel like that's what's happening with Sherry. Y'all have put these people in like for, to fill in for Wendy and because, oh, they did good this one time, girl. That means that they will do good in their own show. Does that make sense? Sometimes people could, can be entertaining. Does that, mean, does that mean they're entertaining to the point where you want to see them for an hour? The Real. They say they got canceled. The Real has been on for eight for eight seasons. Eight seasons, that's a cute look run. I mean, it ain't no view. <laughs> okay. That's a cute look run. But was The Real really The Real? I never could get into The Real. It wasn't my cup of tea. Have I watched parts of episodes here and there? Yes, I have. It's usually if I'm flipping through the TV, like when Tamar was on, I watched a couple of pieces here and there. 
And then it's kind of like, oh, I'm flipping to the TV, oh, okay. But then, you know, once I got cable, honey, <laughs> that's when I ain't have no cable. <laughs> you know, the, girl gets, the girls get cable, girl. Everything they knew before they ain't, girl. <laughs> girl, I got cable now, girl. I watch it when I really want to watch. The Real got canceled. All right, so uh, uh, reportedly canceled after eight seasons. <sighs> that show never was the real. They should have kept Tamar quiet as this kid. As much as she get on my nerves, they should have kept Tamar. And they had, well, they had Tamar, they had Tamara with her white ass. Girl, Tamara was a white woman. I don't know what to say. Um, Lonnie, who else? Adrian, Jenny with her over the top excited ass. Girl. Anyways, then they had, who they had? Amanda. Amanda was too black for them. And then they got Garcelle. Whew. It was something else I wanted to talk about. Oh! Kelly Clarkson, bitch. When I tell you, baby, these men out here in these streets, I'm sorry. And I have said this, and I don't mind saying it again. Yes, it is a double standard. No, I don't have the same smoke when it comes to women. I think that it is absolutely trifling when men and women get divorced and these men be taking these women money. I know. I, you don't have to tell me that it's trifling that I think one way. I already know. So you don't have to tell me nothing. Girl. I Like, these men really out here in these street, streets taking these women money. One thing we can say a lot about a lot about Peter, but at least Peter didn't try to take none of uh, Cynthia's money. <laughs> probably because he's <laughs> probably because he still owed her some, hello. But he didn't try to take none of Cynthia's money when they got a divorce. Girl, he just left. I have no respect for a man when they get a divorce and they take these women money like that. Just trifling. Like, and then y'all, <laughs> Kelly Clarkson sells divorce with uh, pay. Uh, will pay Brandon Blackstock. Over 1.3 million plus monthly spousal support. Mm -mm. Clarkson will also pay $45,000 per month in child support for their two children, River and Remington. Kelly Clarkson's divorce from Brandon Blackstock has been finalized. The singer 39 will pay her ex a massive one-time payment of over $1.3 million, as well as a monthly child support payment of $45,601 for their two children, River Rose, 7, and Remington Alexander, 5, which started February the 1st, per court, per court documents obtained by the blast. Additionally, the couple agreed on having joint custody. Listen to this. Additionally, the couple agreed on having joint custody of their kids. All the River and Remington will be living with Ke will live at Clarkson's Los Angeles residence. She's gonna have these kids majority of the time. They have joint custody, but the kids are gonna be living with her. She's gonna have the kids the majority of the time, and she still gotta pay this man one hundred dollars. Baby, I will be. That's not the same thing as when these men have to pay these women. Because we know the woman usually, the majority of the time, the women have the kids the majority of the time. So it's like, girl, can you imagine paying child support to somebody? I think uh, Holly Berry got to pay her um, baby daddy a good, a good amount of child support. Girl, I'll be evil. When I say I will be sick to my stomach, Handed the man $45,000 a month and 1.3. And, ho, oh, I ain't even done reading, y'all. Shit, hold up. A representative for Clarkson has not commented while a rep for Blackstock did not immediately respond to people's requests for comment. Another stipulation of the agreement is that both kids, they got to, you know, what everybody getting right now. Well, not everybody. Um, as they will be traveling out of state to see their father at the former couple's uh, Montana ranch <laughs> where he'll be living for the time being. Although Clarkson will get <laughs> both of their Montana properties, Blackstock 45 will pay um, the singer $2,000 a month while he stays there until June. Girl, is he really paying, huh? Girl, are you really paying? Are you really paying me or are you just giving me my goddamn money back? Girl, 
In addition to the one-time payment, the American Idol uh, winner will also have to pay her ex $115,000 in spouse support per month until January the 31st, 2024. Oh, girl. Bitch. Y'all be getting with these niggas who ain't about shit. <laughs> but y'all did it for love. <laughs> y'all did it for love. Y'all did it for love. Look at Mary. Mary married for love. I think Mary fell out with her sister once upon a time over Candu. And look how he did her at the end. Girl. Look at Wendy. <clears throat> Wendy can't even walk straight because of a nigga. <clears throat> look at Kelly. <laughs> look at Monique. They say part of the reason why she can't work is her husband. <laughs> I think, I don't know if he was her manager. I don't know if Brandon was Kelly's manager, but I know they had some business dealings together. This is a mess. It's a mess. Girl. These niggas be bombs. And y'all be marrying them and having kids. These niggas be bombs. They be bombs. They're bombs. <laughs> They're bombs. They're bums. <laughs> okay. This motherfucker sitting over taking all this woman money. <laughs> Bitch, I cannot. I cannot believe it, girl. He taking this woman. He taking all this woman money. The amount of spouse support is lower than the previous amount Clarkson was ordered to pay Black Stock in July last year, which was $150,000 per month, in addition to the $45,601. So let me make sure I got this right. This bitch got to pay him a lump sum of one point three, then turn around and pay him $115,000 until January 31st, 2024, and she got to pay the motherfucker $45,601. For those kids. What, until they turn 18? Girl. Kelly. <laughs> oh, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly's one of the white girls I love. Baby Kelly. One of my favorite, one of my favorite songs is by Kelly Clarkson called Maybe. <sighs> Bitch, I'll be heated. Bitch, I will be heated. Bitch, I'll probably be in my room drunk crying. It ain't the fact, because she clearly the bitch got it. That's not the point. That's the point. That's, that's, that's the point y'all missing. Some of y'all missing the point. That ain't the point. The point ain't about having it. The point is giving it to a Like, yes, I feel like it's different. I just feel like it's different for a man and a woman. I do. I do. Because I feel like with these women, these women give up their lives, they give up their careers, right? And then when the relationship is over, you want these women to just go back to living these regular lives, taking care of these kids. Like, how are you going to expect a bitch who probably ain't even been in the workforce for 10, 15, 20 years to all of a sudden, girl, go find a job? That's what y'all be telling these women. You better go get you a job like Nicole Young. Nicole Young probably ain't worked in 20 years. So now this bitch got a 20-year gap on her resume. When was the last time you worked? Girl, 2000. Well, what have you been doing? Girl, bitch probably don't know how to type no more. Probably don't know how to work PowerPoint. Girl, Excel, Microsoft Word. Girl. Shout out to Ryan Coogler. Is that name Ryan Coogler? Mm -mm. 
Mm-mm. Anyways, Ryan, you a better man than I could ever be. Cause ain't no way, ain't no way. My 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 statement would have been me and Mer me and Bank of America. We worked it out, bitch. Fuck Bank of America. <laughs> okay, that would be would have been my statement. Fuck Bank of America and that woman who called and that bitch who I walked by and said good job. Fuck all of them. Fuck them trifling ass cops who cut, who, who who pulled out a gun on. Fuck them too. And they wonder why people don't trust the fucking cops. Your initial, react, your initial reaction was to pull out a fucking gun while my back was turned. Fuck you too. Anyways. And give me my goddamn money. <laughs> okay? And don't say shit to me when I come to this bank in the morning. I don't, get my goddamn money. I don't, know, what, I don't know what bank I'm going to go to because clearly, girl, Wells Fargo, they on some fuck shit. Girl, Bank of America, uh, sorry, your employees, y'all on some fuck shit. So where can I take my money to? <laughs> girl, don't put it in Wells Fargo. Don't put it in Wells Fargo, <laughs> don't put it in Wells Fargo Mr. Ryan, because, girl, you see how they over there doing Wendy, honey? Because that's because they know Kevin. <laughs> What the gag is, Kevin back in the picture. <laughs> That's the gag. Let's talk about it. That's the gag. Kevin is back in the picture. Kevin is back in the picture. I don't know this to be true. This is just what I think. Okay? This is not, this is not factual. Okay? This is, I think Kevin back in the picture and Kevin making some unwanted, he making some, 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 some suspect, some suspect uh, transaction, um, transactions on Wendy's account. And Wells Fargo said, oh, this nigga back in the Oh, this nigga back in the picture. We're going to put a stop to this shit. We know Wendy ain't in her right mind right now. Don't take your money to Wells Fargo because they'll put your shit on hold. <laughs> they'll freeze your shit. <laughs> They'll preach your shit and, and then tell you and then tell you and then tell you you ain't got no access to your money, girl. Now it's a, it's one thing for you to look out for a bitch, right? It's one thing for you to try to look out for me because you think that something's going on with my account. But after a while, after a while, bitch, you ain't got that. You shouldn't have that much power and control over my money. I told you I was all right. I, if I was Wendy, I'd be the same way too, girl. Take out, get, get my money. Don't say nothing to me. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be up here at seven thirty. Matter of fact, what time the bank open? Hey, I'm gonna be here at seven thirty in the parking lot with my security and a couple of cops. Girl, I can't even call the cops because they'll pull a gun out of me. They'll think I'm trying to rob y'all. Can't, you can't call no goddamn body. You can't call the cops, right, bitch? You can't depend. You can't depend on the banks, bitch. Y'all need to go old school and start keeping y'all goddamn money under y'all mattresses. <laughs> Put your shit in the goddamn wall. Shit. Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.